three. All right, I'm really excited for our next guest because it's a wrestler, so I'm gonna tag in Brandon Roddy. Brandon, who's who's here with you today? I see what you did there, Paul. He's a Hall of Fame wrestler and one of the greatest tag team duos in the history of the sport. If you don't know who I'm talking about, check this out. No disrespect to you, Booker, but the Legion of you, perhaps the greatest tag team champions of all like I say, they coined the phrase, I mean, when these guys came out back in the day, you could not hear yourself think. Slater was able to get Road Warrior in. Oh, 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 man. Talk about Phil. Wow. Open. Joining me now is former WWE World Tag Team Champion Joe Laurinaitis, better known as Road Warrior Animal. Come on out, All man. All right. Good morning, San Antonio. <laughs> now the show can start. Hey, man. What's up, bro? How, How you doing? How are you? How are you? Awesome. Great to see you. I'm so happy that you're here. I just have to let you know, man, I grew up watching you, man. I, I wanted to be one of the road warriors. I need to know, how did you get into wrestling? You know, I, I was actually probably a lot like yourself when I was younger. I was a big football player. I heard you talk about Tony Romo. Uh, I love football. Yeah. As you can tell, my son James and that. And I was actually training for the USL, USFL tryout. Okay. And uh, one guy came up to me and said, hey, um, Ed Sharkey, who trained Jesse the Body Ventura, yeah, he said, just I'm doing a wrestling camp, you know, the former governor of Minnesota. Hey, I'm doing a wrestling camp. You want to try this camp? So I said, I don't know, you know, pro wrestling. But then I did it. I figured, what the heck? It'd be a good workout, pummeling and stuff for football, get me in shape, uh -huh. good cardio, and hey, here's where I'm at now. And it just worked out all it, the way. It, it just worked out, and I was in the right place at the right time. and right partner and the right time in the business you know the business at that time was so down i mean wrestling was down at the, at the lowest it's ever been right and we were that that era of helping it spur it up to get to where it is today what do you think about how well you know nobody would have believed back you know 25 years ago the wrestling was going to be as hot as it is a pay-per-view every month that people are paying big money, big to, see. money to see and it, and yeah. it does you know events over a hundred thousand people at, at a show uh -huh. which is just crazy That's right outrageous. but yeah, yeah. it's great i'm glad to be a part of it you know uh -huh. i need to know how did you come up with the road warriors <clears throat> well it's a funny story i remember when we sat there with ole anderson and we came up with the road warrior persona my partner hawk you know rest his soul uh he said hey what if i get the double mohawk and animal gets the mohawk so it looks like when we bend over we can plug our heads into each other <laughs> i'm going are you kidding me <laughs> you know what is the best story that you have from wrestling? I know you guys travel all over the world. You get to see a lot of cool stuff. What story stands out the most to you? Well, you know, I just got back. I was in Japan last week, you know, and I, and I just got back. And what's great about going over there, man, it's just a sheer appreciation for what you do. I mean, you go over there in some of the steak restaurants, you see 50 pictures of Hawkeye all over the place. And it's just a fan appreciation. That's the best part about the wrestling business. Yeah. That's why I'm here in San Antonio. I like to give back to the fans. You have my spike shoulder pads on oh, earlier. So cool. <clears throat> I bring them for the fans to put on to take photos with. They get to be a road warrior, a member of the Legion of Doom for the day, you know. I would like to be a member for the for oh, a day. Oh, man, you're know? not a member. All yeah, the time. Right, we got that on camera, too. That's what I'm talking about. There you go. Now, uh, how do wrestlers come up with their finishing moves? I know everybody has a signature move that they do. How do you come up with that? Well, you know, you got to pretty much work along with the office. I actually experimented online in Japan. I figured if the Japanese boys can live through it, the, <laughs> the American boys can take it, right? And we call it the Doomsday Device, where I get the guy up on my shoulder, and Hawkins come up the top rope, and, oh, yeah. and really, man, bam, Pow. blast him. You know, oh, the guy would do a flip off my shoulder. So, yeah, you gotta invent, you know, because you nothing's gonna be brand new. Uh -huh. Every move's been used before, so you just gotta try to reinvent it to your own style. And speaking of reinventing, how did you guys come up with the idea for these shoulder pads, man? You know, we had a company years ago called Zubaz. Remember Zubaz, all the zebra print wear oh, that yeah. they were the NFL sideline? <laughs> yeah. Hawk and I started that company. What? I we, we're doing that. We hired uh, Jim Kelly and Dan Marino to wear our gear. Uh -huh. Well, the equipment guy for the Miami Dolphins, Bobby Monica's brother, Teddy, worked for Power Protective Equipment at Rydell. One thing led to another. We got in contact. I said, man, I, like it. I got an idea with some shoulder pads, put uh -huh. some spikes on them. So what I did is I got about seven, eight pairs sent to my house. Sitting in my garage, drilling them out at 100 degrees in the summer, <laughs> put the spikes on, and next thing you know, they became one of the hottest things in wrestling. Legendary. You know? They are legendary. You know? And speaking of the NFL, I know your son plays for the Saints. What's it like watching him play NFL football? You know, man, you just hope when your kid grows up, he's going to be a good human being. Yeah, that's my son. Yeah, ESPN Magazine shot right there. You know, uh, where he played me, and I switched and put his jersey on. <laughs> he fills out my pads better, and I fill out that jersey. I'll tell you that right <laughs> no, now. No, no, y'all both look no, very tough. Uh, but, like you know, you know he, had, he had a great career at the Rams. Broke the all-time, broke, broke Merlin Olsen, Deacon Jones' tackle record, yeah. which is huge. So, you know, and 
The Saints didn't work out as well as you would love to, but hey, you make it, you get to wear the shield. Oh, man. Be happy yeah. you got to the dance. Yeah, that he's happy he's got there. there. So I don't know what he's going to do next year. I don't know if he's going to retire or what, but, you know, he's had a great, you know, eight years in, in the league. So. That's pretty good. Uh, what can we expect from this uh, River City Wrestling event that's going on this weekend? Man, there's a lot of great guys going to be there. There's a lot of great legends. you got Tatanka's going to be yeah, there, the that. Barbarian. Who uh -huh. I, I mean, I've battled both those guys. They're both tough guys, especially Barbarian and Warlord, the powers of pain. Uh -huh. And then you got myself, and we're all going to be there, and a lot of great events. One thing I will say, man, especially in the great state of Texas, you know, this is Von Eric country. Uh -huh. used to be Joe Blanchard in the Von Eric country. Man, you're going Texas, way back. Uh, yeah, bro. Texas is some of the best sports fans, but some of the greatest wrestling fans of all time are in the state of Texas. I wrestled here a bunch of times at the Sam Houston Coliseum and all over the place. Yeah, I, I love San Antonio, so it's a good way for us to give back. And the local, the local guys here in town work hard. It's good, fun, family entertainment, so yeah. it's going to be a good show. That's pretty good. And speaking of good entertainment, we can't let you get out of here without playing a little game. I hope you're down. It's uh, called Who Said It? Well, I'm all about games. I don't care. No problem. No problem. Well, it's going to be real simple. All we're going to do, we're going to play a sound from an old school wrestler, and all you have okay. to do is guess who it is. All right. I'll see if I can do You're it. Ready? I'll see if I can do it. All okay, right. Let's okay. go. Let's go. Okay. Here's the first one. You know, I thrive on the excitement, man. When I hear the dragon laying it down from his hard brother, the way he feels, what he owes the man, what he owes the macho man, I thrive on that. Okay, who is it? Well, that's the holster himself, that is man. The holster, yeah, yeah, Hulk Hogan. That's, that's an easy one. He was yeah, right, brother. Course. Okay, okay, all right. Easy, easy. I, that's easy. my fault. Maybe I should have tried to get a little, a little more difficult wrestlers. No, that's you know, right. Everybody knows that one. Right, okay, right, Let, right, let's right. try this. Let's try the next one. Go ahead and play the next one. Well, I'm talking about all the way to the top. Yeah, unjustifiably in a position that I'd rather not be in. But the cream will rise to the top. Oh yeah. Who said it? Dig it, Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> macho Man Randy. Man, he's two for two, man. I, man, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I should have tried harder. This one, this last one might stump you, though. Okay. We might get we'll you right see. here. We'll see. Okay. Go ahead and play the last one. What a rush. I'm not in control now. Uh -oh. I'm going to go crazy. Oh, That's man. my partner, Hawk. That's our theme music. Yeah, the Road Warriors. Yeah. One of the greatest intros I've ever seen. Oh, man, go Road Wars. Now, of course, uh, we have the River City Wrestling event that's going on this Friday, tonight. It's going on tonight. And we have two tickets that we want to give away to the fifth caller. Just call in 210-946-GDSA-4372. River City Wrestling uh, meet and greet tonight with you. Yeah, that's hey, 625 I'm to there. Come on out, man. It's great, man. I'm always happy to see the bands. Especially here in San Antonio, it's great. That's it's awesome. I'm so happy you came out here. Thank you for bringing the pads. I'm uh, going to hey. borrow those a little bit later. It's going to be a rush. <laughs> Coming up, in honor of National Nutrition Month, one of the best chefs in town is putting a twist to your favorite cheesy pie. Paul? Your story begins.